Okay. Hi. Hi there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is um, Mrs. Burry. Yes. I'm going to call myself Mrs. Burry. Um, I, just, I started the cooking channel, I'd say, about a month ago. And uh, my, my husband also is a YouTuber. And he has a uh, a gaming channel, and he often would refer to me as his Mrs. Furry, and like my birthdays or any kind of special happenings, they would say Mrs. Furry, Mrs. Furry. So that's why I decided to call myself Mrs. Furry. So, with that said, I will refer to myself as Mrs. Furry. And my husband as my Sarge, as he is known in on the internet. So, okay, now let's get busy. I have promised a lot of people out there that I would make um, uh, what do you call it? sticky cinnamon bun. Some call it cinnamon roll. It, it is a variation of uh, cinnamon roll. I call it sticky cinnamon roll. So. Um, I think I'm hoping I'm more better prepared than I was in my previous uh, recordings video. I remember the very first video I made with the blueberry baking with my cats, making blueberry muffins with my cat. I was so nervous. I have to apologize. If you were following and hoping to make the recipe, I kept on saying two and a half cups of flour, but actually, if you look at the cards, I always put these cue cards up. Follow the follow the index cue card because that is the correct amount. It is two and a fourth for the blueberry muffin. Okay, I apologize. I did put a correction on the on the bottom of the commentary section, so. Again, it, it was two and a fourth for the blueberry muffin. I hope I don't make any kind of mistakes like that. I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed. I hope it shows. But I am, by nature, a more tense, nervous type of person. So that will never go away. That will be me. <laughs> I'm just being me. But like I said, I'm hoping to get better and better. So I hope you keep coming back and give me a report card on it. So let's get started. I have my coffee cup. <laughs> you know me, I always have to have something in my hands, either a coffee cup or or a snack or something. I'm not, they tease me. They say I'm like a little squirrel. I always think how squirrels have the mouth full, cheeks full. So that's me. <laughs> Okay, now, a little bit about my recipe today. As you know, when you work with dough, it takes time. And I didn't know how I want to make this video. Do I want to uh, make part one, part two, maybe even part three? Or do I just want to learn how to use some of those software video editor? and uh, condense it and splice it and all that stuff. But the easiest, I got thinking, since I am new to all that, I have to, you know, study the, the, the software. And I have to take time to edit it. And I didn't really want to wait that long because I've already wasted too much, too much time in uploading this video. So I thought, for now, I will probably make it part one, part two, or something like that. So, you, at the end, you will see. You know, when you look at my channel, you'll, you will see it on the playlist, part one, part two. Okay? It will be on the title. Uh, what else do I have to tell you? Let's see. You know me. I'm... <laughs> This is just the instruction thing. I don't have 
sketchy or I, I don't prepare myself with some kind of a instruction of what to say sheet. So I'm just randomly chatting as I go along. But hey, that's how I, you know, that's how it is when you come to my house. And that's what it's all about. I want you to be my friend and think, think of it as going to your friend's house. And we'll just, you know, you come in, you sit down, have a seat, have, have a cup of coffee, and watch me bake. <laughs> I will teach you how to make cinnamon roll. So, okay, enough chit chatting. Let's start. First, the dough. This is an all purpose go to dough for, for me. I use this dough recipe for a lot of stuff. So, let me get my pan out and get ready. Uh, here, I do have it ready. <laughs> okay, now, I like regular, some of my other bread recipe that uses water. I'm using milk. Reheat. Hold on. I got my index card so I don't make a mistake again. We're gonna heat. Can you see this? Oh, I'm not too good. That's, I need to learn how to do this better. One and a fourth cups. Of milk. We're gonna heat it till it's warm, not boiling hard or anything like that. Because you know we're gonna be adding yeast to it, and very high temperature will kill the yeast. So here it is: one and a fourth cup of milk to the pot, and I, to that milk, I added one fourth cup melted butter. One fourth cup melted butter. Turn it on. Now you know me, I have often said this in my previous video, I can't chew gum and talk at the same time. So if, if that thing boils, you know what happened. I lost my concentration. Now if you were sitting right there, you would tell me, hey Ronnie, watch that. Hey Mrs. watch that. Uh, no, it's boiling. So, okay, I should have started that earlier. I'll turn it up here. Stir a little bit. It's cold outside today, and I had to sit in for a couple minutes, and it started getting, it's cold in the kitchen, and it started getting hard. I had the milk and butter heated. Oops. Did you see that? I just made a big mess. I splashed. Like I said, I don't know. Yeah. Let me show you what I did. See, I told you I melted the butter. It melted, but then it got cold. And just turn solid again, so I had to be melted. I could put this in the microwave. You know, you can absolutely do that. In fact, I just might be just to save time. Who wants to sit here and watch me try to kill time? That's pretty painful. I would be lost for words. I don't know. Maybe let it go. I was just talking to the Sarge the, the other day about making a mess. I'm getting better at it since I'm doing this YouTube thing. He made that face. <laughs> I still make a mess. Not as bad as that. So I am improving. Hey, a little bit of improvement is better than no improvement, right? And that's what my show is all about. 
inspiring people to to better yourself. It, you don't have to be great, you know. But any any time you can better yourself, that's a good thing, which I'm trying to do. Okay, now to that, we'll just move along. It'll get heated, melted. Um, to the butter, I'm going to add one half cup sugar. Yeah, you can you can uh, do the yeast thing first, but this is if you do, it's so much simpler. You can just dump the whole thing in this pot once it cools off. To the temperature that the yeast likes. And I should show you. I just added one half one half cup sugar. One half cup sugar. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon vanilla. And the first one. Oh, here's it. <laughs> I was looking for this. And egg. We add one egg. Yes, we add egg to this dough. Okay. It's almost like a brioche, brioche type of uh, sweet dough. I was watching some of my old videos that I made, not old, but the last two videos, and I have not reduced the banging noise. I gotta be more quiet, because all you hear is pots and pans and spoons and stuff. That's why I started using a wooden spoon, too. You know, all, all you hear is this bang, bang, bang. It sounds so loud, and if you're sitting here, it's really not that loud. It just sounds that way. Don't ask me why. Probably something in my mic. Maybe I, I can, you know, eventually if I get good, if it's worthwhile for me to make this YouTube, I might end up getting a better system. But right now, I'm just using a laptop. It's good for me to get it started first. And if I don't jump in and start, you know what's going to happen? I'm never going to do this. I will lose my courage. And I will never have made a video. And it, I will end up thinking, oh, why didn't I do that? I wish I would have done that. No more, none of that now. If I want to do something, I'm going to just plunge in and do it. You have nothing to lose, right? No? Nope. You can't say you failed because you didn't even try it. You know, you can't fail unless you try it. And if you tried it, I don't think anybody fails. You might not achieve the results that you like. But is that a failure? I don't think so. <laughs> well, people view a lot of stuff like fa failing, failure, because they're comparing too much with other people. Don't compare with other people. Just do your own thing. Do I have this turned off? Yep. No. Well, one day, what I should really do is do live where you can, act, you know, actually chat. Because I know that's what so my Sarge does. He, um, in fact, he's doing that upstairs. So if you hear something loud, that's him making a video. <laughs> yes, we are a video couple. But um, if you see something boiling, you can on the chat you can say, "Oh, ma, this is boiling. The thing is boiling." <laughs> you can help me out that way. But for now, this will have to do.
Because that's something else I gotta learn. And at my age, learning does not come fast. So to that, when it cools off, I'm gonna add one egg. One of these days, I'm gonna have all the recipes written out or typed out and put it somewhere. I don't know how well, but you know, I have myself more organized that if you wanna, rather than watching all my previous video, you can just go to one page and have all the recipes written down for you that you could just print out or some, something like that. I'll think of something. But in the meanwhile, just consider this as an entertainment. And that I know I provide. <laughs> Everybody laughs at me. I mean, in a good way. Okay, I said I have one egg. Three four teaspoons salt goes into the stove. Three four teaspoons salt. Things here. Three four teaspoons salt. Okay. Here's this. I can just add it. No, I like this kind of recipe where you can just dump everything. I don't like too much plus plus you know. This is yeast, two and a half teaspoon yeast, or one packet. If you have, get a packet. I buy mine in the big jars, big containers. So, but uh, yeah, it's two and a fourth teaspoon yeast, which I'm gonna add later on. This might be a little too hot. Two and a four teaspoon yeast. Okay. Let me see. This is hot. Nope, not too bad. Make sure it's off. I always get told myself. Are you going to see now? You have that stove on. I do that sometimes. I just take, I, you know, we have so many cats. If a cat starts biting or whatever, or throwing up or something, I would just run out and then sometimes I forget. But we won't tell my son it's okay. It's between you and me. Then I'll come right back and I'll turn it off. Okay. So that is cool. No, I might, I might wait a little bit. You can dump it in now, or you can dump it in the flour. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, no, I like to just, I like to keep everything simple. I don't let you folks have any bread making machine, but I use mine a lot. I just used my this earlier, but I'm gonna put it in here. For the flour part, I use three and a half cups. I said that right. Three and a half cups of flour. And dump it in. Okay. And with me. I'm going to add the yeast now because it is warm. Trust me, it makes a soft, really slight pillowy dough. It's really good though. I love this recipe because it's simple. I had to tweak it a little bit, but originally it did not even have vanilla. That's something I decided to put in. I think it tastes good. Because it is so like, you know, it's not a dessert, but it's like a dessert type of bread. It's sweet bread. Although the batter itself is not sweet. I know that yeast is good. You don't really have to wait till it foams and stuff. Because I just made a bread dough here. That's all you do, just mix in. And the bread machine will take care of everything. But this is the part, you know, 
you mix it and then you put it away and you have to let it rise for one hour. So I didn't know what to, how to make the video. I watched some of the other cooking shows that's around and they seem like they use the uh, video editor. Most of them do. So I have to run. There's no way around it. But for now, you just have to see if you can find part two. Because <laughs> I'm not going to make you sit here for one hour and try to entertain you for one whole hour. That's not happening. I'll be chasing you guys away. So. Now I have three and a half, but if you find that it it's too uh, too sticky, too soft, you can add more, up to maybe like. Uh, I'd say four cups, but you can even go up to four and a half. I'd say four cups. But I always like to start with three and a half. Because you can always add, but you can't take away. Well, in a bread case, you can always, you can add more water and make it, <laughs> if you make it too dry. So I kind of lied. Okay, now, see, all I did was just dump everything in here and just put it in my bread maker to make the dough. I'm going to take it out of the bread maker. I'm not going to bake it in the, no, no. <laughs> this gets taken out. We're just making the dough. Thank you. That's Teresa up there. Hey, Teresa. Watch her get down, but she doesn't like the noise. Put it on. I don't think I'm going to start it because it's really loud. But. What I really should have done was make two cinnamon rolls. But you know, that's, that, it takes eight huge rolls. That's a lot to eat. So I'm just going to make part two, part three. That's the, in case you missed it, three and a half cups to start with. If you think you need more, by all means go add maybe like half a cup at a time more. But it is a little on the soft and a little sticky side. Not too sticky though. You'll see when it's done. And I like to use the bread maker because, because, um, it has a heating sec. It heats it up a little bit. So it rises, you know, pretty to the right temperature. Not, it doesn't really bake it or anything. Just warm enough. It creates a warm environment for the, Bread to rise faster. If you don't have a bread making machine, you can you can use um what do you call that? KitchenAid, the mixer with with the dough hook. Most 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 uh, KitchenAid comes with the little dough hook. So yeah, use that. I've used it. Maybe my, for my next video, when I make uh, bread or something, I might. Use the kitchen there just to show you that there's really not much difference in the dough. It just doesn't get heated like the bread machine, so you'll have to actually wait a little longer. But I'd say about 45 to one hour, you know, depending on your room temperature. And let's see, what else can I talk about before I stop the video? So we covered the dough section. Oh, I know. We're not going to stop the video yet, okay? We're going to make the goo. Well, that's being... Just pretend it's going. 
because it's really loud. It could be because I had that for a while. I might need an, another one. But yeah, let's make the glue. I have everything ready. I need a drink. I'm, I'm drinking tea, by the way. Mm. So, I have everything ready. Let me clean up a little bit. Like I said, if, Miss, if the Sarge comes down, you don't think I'm making a big mess. Oh, because you haven't seen that side of the kitchen yet, have you? I don't think I'm going to show you that side. Hey, I'm not dumb. I'm not going to show you all my mess. The secret out. But actually, it's not that bad. No. Like I said, I'm getting better. And my charge is a perfectionist. He, 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 he's a tidy person. I think that's from being in the military. I took notice. Most, not all, but most military men uh, tend to be very organized and very self-sufficient and confident. My first husband, who deceased, deceased husband, I should say, uh, was in the military too. And he was just the same. Everything is organized. <laughs> I'm just the opposite. People don't see me as a, I'm not a slob now, don't get me wrong. But I do tend to be very carefree with things, you know. Um, and a little messy. Messier than him, than, than both of my husbands. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. It makes me sound like, you know, I have so many husbands. No, I married once. Uh, and he passed away. A little bio about me. He passed away, and then this is my second. So, uh, yeah. But, um, Let me tell you some, why that chopstick. I don't know if you can see it. There's a chopstick actually. Right here. And the hook, the faucet's laying right here. Only because Sorry is waiting for a part to come. He has to fix that. Yes, he's my handyman too. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna melt the make the goo. To make the let's I'm getting too sidetracked today. We're gonna to make the goo. We need um one cup of light brown sugar. You can use dark, it doesn't really matter. Dark just gets darker. Um, one cup of light brown sugar and one cup of no hold on, hold on. One cup of light brown sugar. And one half cup of butter. One half cup of butter. That's one stick, as you saw me put one stick. It's one half. And a little something a little different from the other recipes. One half cup of maple syrup. You know me and my maple syrup. <laughs> I guess I should have melted the butter first. You don't have to. You know how I do things. I want to get every bit of that maple syrup. You want burner. 
That's why I said I'm here to entertain you folks. I do have recipes that's good to share, and I do, you know, some. I don't have to call myself teach, but show you my methods. But I'm no chef. And here comes the sorge. I'm videotaping. <laughs> God. That's my charge that uh, is making fun. So uh I lost track of what I'm doing here. Yes, I am. Yes. He loves those things. In fact I probably would have not made this right away, but Somebody ate up all the other ones already. Yes. That's somebody. Yeah. Who took the last it's piece. It's part of your cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wasn't me. I don't get that shit. You believe that, folks? I'm starving, man. Look how skinny I am, man. She has a baby. You're lucky I snuck. I managed to take a body pan hey, 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 and take hey. a lot. I, I thought and, you were upstairs. I need my your ball video. and chain so I can sneak down here and get a cup of coffee. Oh yeah. Go upstairs and make your own video. Ball and chain, man. <laughs> ball and chain, is it? Yes, that's my Sarge. He has no trouble oh, no. talking. <laughs> Unlike myself. Man, hair all messed up, not shaved. See, I don't have my makeup on, I don't have my lipstick on, nothing, man. Didn't go to the hairdresser yesterday, oh my god. See? Oh, you look like a mess. I, I am. <laughs> Can't be on camera. Yeah, but you see, he's, he makes videos, but he makes uh, gaming videos. No, I don't. So, it doesn't really matter. And he has one of those, um, what is it? <laughs> doesn't matter, he's Icons a gamer. whatever, his, the character they use. Doesn't matter. He just he's just a gamer. He's just one of those that's gamer guys. That's that's a hard man. Name. He has a lot of followers. No, I don't. In fact, this that's another reason why I decided to make the sticky buns. For all my followers. Yes, not all. Some some of them had you know. Spice Man Picky. Yes. Oh, I should take the time out to thank everybody that has watched me. I hope you come back and are watching this too. And yeah, again, or I'm going to not so show much. you how to do the challenges. I'm going to show you some bogus challenge way to do it to make you guys screw up your challenges. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yes, he's a character, isn't he? But I do owe a lot of my views to him. He's been pimping my channel. Can I say that word? He's been telling everybody how good my cinnamon roll is. And my blueberry muffin. And they are good. I hope you tried it. If not, you gotta try this. This is really out of this world. Everything got hard because I was letting it sit. Here goes. Oh, I. I'm glad you went upstairs. You would say, you have the whole sink full of silverwares. But I need something. My brown sugar got hard. See, I had, that's one thing. I try to prefer things ahead of time, but then it doesn't work out sometimes. Because <laughs> it's cold in the kitchen. And I don't really want to heat it up because once I use the oven, it's going to get too hot. Not to mention, I'm cheap. I like to keep my kitchen a little on the cool side, not not cold. As you can tell, I just have a sweater on. But yeah, okay. This is not working out. I should have melted butter and the sugar first. Well, the maple syrup tried to spill it over a little bit, and you know what happens to brown sugar when it gets a uh, when it gets uh, wet, it crumbles. That's what happened. <laughs> but it will melt down, trust me, it will melt down. It just takes a while. 
but like I said, I'll be back anyway with that when that, when that uh, my dough gets done. <laughs> and I've had so much distraction. I can use that as an excuse, please. Yep. That's what I saw. She's a character. I should have checked to make sure this was not clumping first. Because I did pack it down. You know, when you uh, measure brown sugar, they always say to pack it down. So <laughs> I packed it down. So my gooey, gooey is gooey and sweet. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going <laughs> to upload this video. I'm now, he, he has me in this giggling mood now. That's what happens to me when he comes down. He makes me laugh. Also makes me lose what I'm doing in my concentration. And this is why I need to have one of those um, editing, uh, what do you call them? Video editor. That way I can edit this whole thing off. <laughs> or I can just make another, measure another cup of sugar in. But you know me, I'm too cheap. This is, I mean, this is going to work out. In fact, you'll see that it's going to work out. And you'll realize, hey, if I'm a novice cook or something like that, and I try this, and then it doesn't melt as fast, who cares? It did for Mrs. Furry, and here she is. And my end result will be nice and gooey, and I'll show it to you when it's done. My car is, I'll break it apart, and I'll taste it for you. That's the best part, right? I can't wait. But yeah, see, she's. I look like I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling to get this clump of sugar, <laughs> clump of sugar back to it. But, it is, look at, look, it's getting melted. Just not melting fast enough, because I'm trying to keep this video short. And this was not supposed to happen. All this time I made my sugar, when I, you know, I would just melt the butter, and I would just put the sugar, and then, you know, stir it right away. Before it gets to be a problem. But I got up it and got everything ready. And I let it sit too long. And there must have been moisture or something. Who knows? Things happen. And you just work with it. Of course, a lot of people would work with it more tastefully. You know, if you were a chef. Or a seasoned cook or seasoned, seasoned video maker. You would just glide through this like, oh, everything's cool, you know. You would even tell them that this is clumpy, right? But, like I said, I'm keeping this for real. <laughs> this is how I cook. <laughs> That's why I, I told you once, my niece, oh, we have, we have good times so of cooking and do, going places, driving. You know, we, we laugh a lot. And guess who provides the entertainment? Me. <laughs> me being me. Actually, not trying to be funny or anything. But yes. That's why I said, if you don't come to my, watch my show for the recipes, it doesn't really matter. I will entertain you whether I like to or not. And I don't know if you took notice, but I can actually start talking. I don't usually talk this much. You could ask, or you can ask, because you don't know my relatives or friends. But I'm really not a very chitty-chatty person. I'm more shy and reserved. He's the chitty-chatty person. He has no trouble making friends with anybody. But uh, I'm just the opposite. But I'm getting better at this. The hardest part is... Pretend me there's somebody out there. So I uh, I look at myself and I talk to myself. I pretend it's somebody else. 
See, it's getting melted. You can, yeah, you can see it. I think. Holy cow! You're making a cooking show. <laughs> yes, I am making a cooking show. <laughs> Not really a cooking show, but yes, a cooking video. And yes, it's gonna be good. Just trust me. You know, you trust me, Spurry, don't you? That Sergeant Nick Furry, it came from the comic book Sergeant, um, I guess Sergeant Nick Furry, I don't read comics, so I don't know too much about it, but, but that's where the, the name came from. He loves that comic book. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, May maybe. Maybe my soldier will tell everybody, come and watch me. <laughs> and I might get some uh, views of my videos. Like, I'll take any views I can get. Hey, I'm not proud. Won't you? Of course you will. Hey, any, you take the, if you want to get serious about making videos, you take the views any way you can. Right? I am. Yeah, after what he just <laughs> pulled on me today, right now. Yes. But that was fun. I'm sure you had fun too. He is a character. As one of his followers said. He said, that's George, he's a character. <laughs> there. Yeah, I don't want to make too much noise. I could break it apart, but it would be bang, bang, bang again. And I don't know if you watched the other videos or not, but it was like bang, bang, bang. That's all I heard was cuts and pants. Yeah, it's no. no. I just thought of that now. I could have had that thing plugged in in another room. By the time I make all this, may have been done. Well, not done, done, but at least the dog could have been formed. I wasn't thinking. So what's new? No, I gotta learn how to plan things better. Yep. But then if I planned everything to, to perfection and started Doing things to perfection, it would be so entertaining, would it? <laughs> I would be competing with just another cookie show. Somebody, you know, they're all good, by the way. In fact, better than what I can do. But somebody once said, which I have adopted, is don't try to copy. Imitate others. You just do what you are meant to do. You know, just be yourself. And, and if you want friends, that's how you make real friends too, right? They will be accepting you for who you are, not for who they want you to be. So, yeah. My whole thing about making all this stuff is... I really want to share what I, I know. <laughs> I know that's what I laugh when I say that because I never thought of myself as knowing a lot of things. But actually, I do. <laughs> well, that comes with age, too, you know. Who wants to be this old and not know anything and say you have to experience life? If you experience life the way it's meant to be, you. Whether you're smart or not, very like you learn. It's called that's why it's called life experience, right? So, with that said, I wanted to share what I know with everybody. 
the people that know already just get to come and chill and hang out with me and that. Like I said, I am entertaining. I think so I think I am. But uh, yeah, I don't mind if you ask me. As long as it's not in a negative way. Okay, this means already. It won't be yet. But it will My Sarge has a home business and talks about with some of his clients. Yes, he's a man of many talents. He has a he does engraving, he fixes things. And he uh, also fixes computers. And he sells antique. We have an antique store too, which is closed for the season. But we're thinking, I don't know, maybe we'll close for permanently. He just has so much things on his belt. And now he's doing a YouTube thing. <laughs> so, yeah, it's one adventure to, to another. Never a Boring, boring moment with the storage. Which is good. Which is good. Life should not be boring, right? It should be full of adventure. And that was my intention when I decided to get remarried again to find somebody after my first husband passed away. It was sort of like God giving me another chance at to try something new. I would never ever thought of making YouTube videos or making a move from where I live to here or taking care of so many cats. Do I have Oh, why didn't you tell me? I didn't even have I turned this off. No wonder it's not. No wonder it's not cooking fast enough. <laughs> I told you. Can we blame it on Sarge for distracting me? Yes, let's, let's do that. No, it's actually my fault. I am easily distracted. I forgot I had this turned off. Sorry. That's going to take a little longer. But the heat from the pan and everything is melting us yet. See that? And when you bake it, it's going to even not better. And you don't really want it real cooked, real, like, well, it's all too much, uh, what do you call it? Bubbly. That would be like candy stage and your karma is going to get hard. You want it soft and gooey. That's what we call it, gooey. Sticky. At this stage, it'll be sticky. At the perfect stage. I told you it comes together. So the goo part's done. I'm glad my kitchen was not a, a big mess when it came down. Okay. Okay. So. Now we pour that into a 9 by 13 inch greased pan. I, I forget my pan. Sorry, I have to leave for a second. I'll keep talking so you don't think I left you. Oh, I, what did I do with my pan? I had to get another pan. I lost my pan. I made that noise again. Sorry if it sounded really loud. Okay. I 
I'm happy uh, three to six. I had I had a pen already. I can't find it. <laughs> no, I'm struggling with this cat. Oh, you know what? <laughs> this is not my day for video making. Let me come up with an alternative. I don't have my butter. It's empty. <laughs> Oh, I don't. I want to go spray. Yes. I'm, this is not... I'm not trying to be funny or anything. It's not staged. Trust me. I don't know how you can stage this. See, I do use one of these once. I do have it uh, in the pantry to keep it on hand for emergencies and stuff. Times like this when you make a video and not prepared. Just spray the bottom a little bit. Okay, now we're back on track. So we pour the goo in 9 by 13 pan. I find that. That size works the best. Because then it makes it makes a nice perfect eight rows. I tell you another thing my son doesn't like. He doesn't like me using fork on this pan. He's a stiffer. But you know what? I actually learned a lot from him. Don't tell him I said that. Because I will fight and argue with him all the time. Now, all the things he says, he corrects me, which I don't like to be corrected. <laughs> Who does, right? But it is true. You should use rubber spatula or wooden spoon or something so you don't scratch the surface even though it is stainless steel and very very hardy and I've watched him cook already when he cooks if he's gonna scrape this he will scrape this too <laughs> till it looks like it's washed me I like easy, you know. I scrape it as much as I can and it's pretty good, would you say? And it's good. I have to taste it. So we'll put that aside and I'll recap what I did. Oh, and for the filling, the, it is a cinnamon roll. So when that dough is done and I rise it, let it rise for one hour, I will explain all this again. We're going to roll it out and then put some cinnamon sugar. And all this is is one cup of brown sugar. A lot of people use white granulated sugar, and you can. I've used that too. But uh, one day I tried it with brown sugar and it turned out pretty good. One cup of brown sugar and one tablespoon cinnamon and three tablespoon butter. I'll show it to you now. Okay, hold on. Can you see it? I know the glare. One cup 
for brown sugar. Three tablespoon melted butter. You actually use the melted butter to spread the dough so the cinnamon sugar would stick. So the cinnamon sugar is one tablespoon cinnamon and that brown sugar I just mentioned. That's this. Or if you don't want to do that, you know, some stores carry um, a bottle of cinnamon sugar. You can actually use that too. Yeah. That would make it quicker. But you know what? It really doesn't take that long to mix sugar and cinnamon. Like I said, you can use white sugar too. It doesn't matter. Use the same amount. Yep. So, that caps that off. Let me recap this before I turn it off and then I'm going to start a part two. Cinnamon roll part two. Okay. This is still number one. Okay, now I'm going to go over the measurements again because I don't have nothing tacked for you guys. If I can get this. I don't want to do like I did before. <laughs> Give you the wrong measurement. One and one fourth cup milk. And remember, I heated that a little bit till it's uh, a little bit warmer than lukewarm, but not hot to the touch. Then I added one fourth cup of butter. You can add melted butter, or you can just put it in and melt it yourself. In in the warm milk, it will melt. And then to that, I added one half cup sugar. I'm reading it like this to make sure I don't say anything wrong this time. And one teaspoon vanilla. I hope you like putting vanilla in your dough because I find it to be really tasty. You have that aroma, the smell. It sort of perfumes the dough. So when you're eating, it tastes, it tastes a little like bakery. Dough, <laughs> not the, I mean, good high end bacon smell, aroma. One egg. I don't know. I have too much glare. I don't know why I'm squinting my eyes. <laughs> Three fourth teaspoon salt. And one pack of yeast, or two and one fourth teaspoon yeast. If you buy yeast in a loose jar or a big box, it's two and a fourth teaspoon. And three and a half cups of flour. And you can go by adding half a cup more at a time. Don't add too much at a time. Just add half a cup at a time till you find the right dough that you can handle. It is a soft dough. And a little bit about that dough, it's the milk in the dough that I think makes it very tender and flaky. You know, it's something about protein, something to do with protein and yeast and stuff, all that stuff, which I'm not going to get into it because I don't really know. I just know it makes it soft and fluffy. And that's all you need to really know too, right? Who wants to take a science lesson just to cook? So. Okay, so that was the dough part. And we went over the cinnamon part. And I think we went over the goo. In case, one half cup butter. One cup. I know, I'm not sure. I'm getting too sloppy here. One cup light brown sugar. Let me show you that one half cup. One half cup butter, one cup light brown sugar, and one half cup maple syrup. And bring that to a boil, just for a split second, not bubbly boil. Okay. 
because then it's going to get hard. You're going to end up with like a, a candy coating, which you don't want. You want that glue. And you know, I struggle with that, but trust me, it's going to come out gooey. And you pour that into a, what can you see? Pour it into a 9 by 13 greased pan. And that's it. So, until my next video, which will be part 2 of Cinnamon Roll, which you, you have to come back and check this part 2 because that's when I do all the assembly and then the final results. I'm not sure if, if I need to, once you cut it, it's going to have to rise again. I'm not quite sure how I'm, I'm going to do that. If I'm going to cut the video again and have part three. Oh, my hair's, sorry. If I'm going to cut the video and have to do part three, or, or maybe it's going to rise sooner. We'll see. If I can keep talking for a little longer, then we can wait and just make it into two two parts, but we'll see. Okay? So until then, this is Mrs. Furry, and my channel is Mrs. Homemaker, and if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment, and like I said, please great me. You know, I don't mind if you give me an F for failure, but I would like at least B. <laughs> Again, I wish the world a safe and peace. I sound like Miss America, right? World peace. <laughs> but I really do wish world peace. You know, especially nowadays. And everybody have a good day. And God bless. Love you all. Bye bye. Now, I can't reach you too short. Okay. Hmm. Did, that, did I turn it off? No, I did. Okay, now let's see. Oh, what am I doing?